But that was just another injustice in the trial of Jesus because the law forbid any kind of punishment before there was a conviction. So think of this. Jesus should have never been arrested the way that he was. He should have never been questioned and he should have never been struck. And so he responded to the officer by saying, if I have spoken evil, bear witness of the evil, but if well, why do you strike me? Here's what Jesus was saying. If you have a witness that says that I'm speaking untruth, bring them forward. But if you have no witness, you know you should not have struck me. You listen to what Jesus has said during his trial. Because so often we have this picture of Jesus that he just went in meekly and mildly, that he didn't say a word, that he just humbled himself and allowed them to do whatever they wanted to do. But that's not the truth of the night. There were moments he said nothing, but there were moments when he opened his mouth with authority and with truth and with power. And this this is one of those moments where he turns to Annas and says, why do you question me? And he turns to the officer and says, where are your witnesses? Jesus teaches us that injustice must be called out. Injustice must be spoken to. Injustice has to be confronted. We must not respond in kind, but we must respond. We don't fight fire with fire, but we're called to fight. We don't wrestle against flesh and blood, but we have to learn how to wrestle. The weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but we do indeed have weapons. And the weapons that we have are the weapons of the Spirit, the weapons of the Word, the weapons of the truth, the weapons of God that are mighty to the pulling down of strongholds. You see, here's one of the struggles. If we do not confront injustice, the strongholds of injustice remain. We can't whisper them down. We have to war them down. And you do that by obedience, by faithfulness, by walking in the character of God and speaking the truth of God. We are not allowed to lash out, but we must stand up. What did Paul teach us in Ephesians when he teaches us about warfare and he teaches us about our, um, our armor? He says, having done all to stand, stand. Which means we have a posture that we've been called to and that posture is to confront injustice with truth.